Hi, everybody. I'm Jorge Vitama. Uh, first of all, thanks to organizers for letting me have these five minutes, just few minutes on to let you know what is NGSIP and what we are, have been doing. I'll try to keep it in time. Uh, I have been working as a researcher at the International Center for Tropical Agriculture for the last few years, but I'm actually switching positions. I just got a, a professor position at Universidad de los Andes in, in Bogota, and that's important for the software because that, that means that the maintenance of the software will, will continue from, from los Andes. Uh, the reason why I'm, uh, what that motivated me to, to start this work is that uh, when you do sequencing, especially when you do whole genome sequencing, you, have, uh, you know that there is a lot of variation that you can identify, from, from your samples beyond the SNPs. You have uh, the, the, the different kinds of structural variants that I try to summarize in this cartoon. But then if a practitioner, if a biologist would like actually to do that job, they get stuck into a tons of millions of tools, names, acronyms, things that are very difficult to grasp and to, and to really know what, what each one can do. I was, I was thinking about this and I realized that I, we didn't actually solve this problem. We actually made it worse because we came up with yet another tool called, called NGSIP that is supposed to do parts of, of, of this job. Uh, but we did it in a kind of nice way. We uh, included a graphical interface that we kind of promote that uh, as, a, as a Eclipse plugin in which the users can go, load, your, load their data, can do a few clicks and can identify a lot of, a lot of variants for, for their samples. Uh, this is the original publication and, uh, that we uh, finished in 2014 and the software is perfectly open source. That's why I'm, I'm here and hope you will still be uh, open source. Um, on the backbone is basically uh, what you will call a generic normal pipeline for variant calling. You start from the reads, you do the whole process, and you get your at the end your BCF with your with your variation information. Um, and uh, basically, the, the 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 piece of software that started everything was the SNP detector that happened. This happened back in 2009 when I was a PhD PhD student. I needed some SNPs from RNA seq data from cancers to be able to graduate. So and there was no GATK in some tools, more or less. So the, I end up building a, a, a SNP caller uh, using basically the Bayesian uh, theory that you kind of know for, for this problem. Uh, that's, and that's basically also the publication uh, finished in 2012 is, is, is also there. Uh, since then, uh, we have been working a, bit, uh, a lot on the software, making our SNP calls better and better. In particular, we implemented in the realignment within the tool. You don't have to produce another BAM to, to, to make in the realignment. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll go fast. A lot of, um, we have done a lot of validation. This is the poster. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we include vari structural variants, a lot of algorithms, the different flavors of algorithms that you know for structural variants. Um, and then uh, people think that it's only this, the, we have only the plugin, but if you are an expert and you want to do command line, everything can be run on command line, and we have Galaxy integration, iPlant, or Cybers is called right now, and solutions in the cloud like the Nexus. Uh, a lot of benchmark, if you want to know why we think our NGSF is better than GATK, some tools, and everybody else. Uh, visit the poster, and I will give you the whole details on, on how that works. And I will skip basically our nice showcase, which is uh, uh, analysis of a uh, hundred genomes of, of rice, whole genome sequencing, in which we develop markers, I mean, bit the diversity and develop markers for market system selection, which end up uh, in our participation in the 3000 rice genomes project, in which we are. Uh, NGSEP is one of the tools, and we are uh, finding a lot of nice structural variation affecting and nice cases of agronomically important uh, genes. I'm almost done. <laughs> so um, these are this is the users I know about, a few collaborations, previous collaborations, current collaborations. We are really happy every time somebody finish a paper saying that they could use NGSEP and, 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 and it was good for their work. And then we have some uh, I think good um, source for the statistics some people downloading the software and being interested in the software. And I think by now we can safely say that NGSEP is well established and um, uh, basically our main work is on RISE, uh, but the tool is perfectly agnostic for, for anything. And uh, the idea is to continue and to basically focus on tools on, and on problems in which biologists are having a hard time and, and technical hard time if we can make something to make their lives better, that's what that's the kind of things that we will include in the software. Uh, this is the group of people, the nice bunch of people that helped me with this uh, idea. 
and uh, a lot of collaborators from different places, and the funding mainly comes from the CG system, uh, especially rice and, and, and grain legumes. Thank you.